What's the trend in China right now? One topic gaining a lot of traction across the domestic social platforms is Caohsian County. A local influencer created a catchy phrase and uploaded videos online bragging about how great his hometown Caohsian County is. Went viral online and until now people are still talking about it. Here we are today really at the Caohsian County, East China's Shandong province. So we're going to find out today what's so great about this county. Now here we are at the e-commerce base, e-commerce Zoom uh, of the county. Like hundreds if not thousands of counties across the country, the local government is enormously supportive of the e-commerce development. Actually, this small county is the largest manufacturing base for the theatrical costumes and it is also the second largest uh, the second largest e-commerce cluster in China especially for Hanfu as we can see now Hanfu is the traditional clothing of the Han ethnic group and was formed in ancient times Hanfu now is undergoing a resurgence in China right now gaining popularity, especially among the younger generation. And the younger generation cho choose to wear Hanfu for performance or to make, to take cool pictures, selfies, but most commonly they just choose to wear it as a fashion choice. All the knees make the market of Hanfu keeps growing to be a very huge one in China. Now we are in one of the stores of the commerce zone of Han, uh, for selling Hanfu. Check out the store. We can see there are so many different styles on display. And the market for this traditional style of dress is so big. Basically speaking, stores like these, they are not for the everyday shoppers. They are the wholesale outlets. Like uh, the merchants from different cities across the country, they come here and they source their products. And then the products go to the buyers, the costumes across the country in different cities. But it is just one of the forms for selling. There is still another very efficient form for selling. Let's find out. Live streaming now is one of the main channels for selling goods online in China. So many Hanfu sellers in Caohsian County choose to use the live streaming apps to sell their goods. There is a lady over there standing in front of a phone showcasing the clothes showcasing the Hanfu. And basically there will be, maybe there are now thousands of people watching online. And they are all the potential buyers. The live streaming selling is so popular because you just need to click the button while watching to buy the goods. So it's really convenient. And we can see just now the, the host, the lady is wearing Hanfu, so sometimes the, sometimes the host will 
will change, will put on the new dress, the new, new type, the new clothes for the audience to see the details. You can see, we can see beside the host, beside the live streaming scene, there are so many beautiful clothes on display. And this for the traditional Chinese wedding. And hence, we here we can look, look these details. We can see there are so many beautiful and delicate embroidery works, and and I can feel the the fabric. They're so soft, and it can make sure that if even if you are wear wear this hanf, wear this clothes in the hot summer, you can still feel comfortable. The beautiful embroidery work on the dresses we saw just now all come from factories like this. These factories are all located at Daji, a small town of Caoxian. There are hundreds of factories here in Caoxian County, not just the embroidery factories, designing, printing, cutting. You can find hundreds of factories majoring on each and every step for making hanfu. The whole modern hanfu system is like this with hundreds of factories specializing in particular parts of the process. Actually, the businesses of the factory is now covering designing and also cutting and the needlework of the production. The owner is seeing that the they are keeping optimizing the process to create the products for the high-end market. This is another factory that makes patterned fabric. Machines are printing the patterns onto the special paper while workers downstairs are transferring these onto the fabric. Now the machines are working and the professionals are operating the computers. Compared to the traditional way of dyeing clothes, this modern process expedites the whole process. And also the quality is more stable. In 2020, there were more than 5,000 e-commerce enterprises in Caoxian County and more than 60,000 online stores. E-commerce here created more than 350,000 new jobs and encourage entrepreneurship. 50,000 former migrant workers returned from mega cities to start their own businesses. The huge purchase drives factories to adopt more efficient method of production. Only at this speed, it could meet huge demand of the clothes. Communities that make money in this way are called the Otobo village. As defined by Ali Research, Alibaba Group's research arm. Data from 2020 shows 
Caoxian County had 151 Taobao villages, accounting for a quarter of all Taobao villages in the whole of Shandong province. E-commerce is really thriving in this county. 那咱们现在这个生产是一个怎么样的状况？您能介绍一下吗？现在本公司是目前为止六台设备，然后每台设备每个小时的话大概是三百三十个平方。呃，目前为止每天的生产的数量是四万五千平方左右。嗯。呃，在旺季的时候，我们一般都是二十四个小时生产。嗯。Okay, the owner of the factory said his factories now can uh, now can produce uh, forty thousand of clothes per day, and in the peak season they always they always work around the clock to meet the blue the the booming number of the incoming orders. Walking in the street of Daji, Caoxian County, the views we can see is no different than the, the pictures of ordinary rural areas in people's mind. The farmland is never too far away and there are still corns growing out there. This place feels just so tranquil. However, thanks to a unique combination of e-commerce and traditional Chinese culture and business acumen, Lives here have gradually changed. People are working so hard for a bright future of themselves and for the next generation. Let's hope this is one train that will stick around. Thank you for joining us today and I will see you guys around. <laughs>